Cross TV. Tackman here, okay? Coach there. You're gonna use the bag as okay, as a, as a buffer there. He's gonna make his move, okay? You can you can do bounce over here and come underneath, etc. But he's essentially he's gonna come up to here. And when you get to this spot, this is a huge thing. We used to, we used to, we used to teach you know that you could dive across a crease because you can't do that. The next best thing is to get to this spot, and if you can keep coming, great. Go ahead and take a finish. But a lot of times, your defenseman is going to take some sort of angle like this, and there, but there's a little spot right here where you can p put your feet that's just outside the crease. And if you can gain that spot before your defenseman gets there and you would establish that spot before he is, the only thing that he can do with this bag, all right, or this hit or this approach, if you're coming in from like this, is push you from behind. You see a lot of that in college lacrosse right now. So here we are in the field. Uh, talking about establishing lead. The first thing that we talk about is the angle. So if you see, as a defenseman, defenseman gives you this angle here, any space in this general area you want to take advantage of. So if maybe he pops up high, your defenseman ends up in this situation. What you want our attackman to do is establish a spot, hence the name establish, right? Establish a lead. As he establishes his foot, the only thing a defenseman has to do now is to, is to push you from behind. Now since there's no since there's no diving in lacrosse, we have to do this kind of thing. So establishing lean, let's go a little bit live. So in the drill, the coach stands here with a bag. We got a bunch of guys coming up. Good, establish, clean, take the pressure and finish. Come on, next guy. Right? Come up here, establish, take the pressure and finish. Good. Right? Find it, establish, clean. Good. That's perfect. Good. Let's go, Will. Good. Establish, clean. Good. Right? Take the heat. Establish your feet. Approach angle, which is Again, you're creating, you know, you're finding this little spot that your defenseman gives you as he slides to you, all right? The second thing is establishing your feet there. If you don't establish your feet and you're moving, you know, um, a referee, as we'll call, uh, you know, running into the crease or diving, you know, you really have to establish feet and, and get more of a lean, all right? And as you can see in coaching point three here, all right, lean and feel the pressure. And so once you have the bag there, you give enough pressure to your player as he comes underneath that he can feel that so it allows him to lean even better all right as he gets into the crease and again if you dive you lose you know you're gonna lose the ball all right no diving like we talked about and the last piece is finishing so as they lean into the crease if you can if you can imagine this is a guy here and he's you have to excuse my drawings but if he's you know he's got his stick in this angle here as he leans into the crease right he wants to shoot around this goalie so as if the goalie's here He's going to make some sort of action towards you and try to follow your stick. So you want to shoot around him if you can. If he, you know, if he goes all the way across, maybe you can put that back. But a lot of times, what you're going to do is you're going to finish in this part of the net here. All right, trying to shoot around that goalie.